Oh. Please, okay. please take your seat. You may like to introduce yourself to all of us, please. Uh, my name is Umul Banin. I was born and raised in Sargoda. I have graduated from University of Sargoda in English Language and Literature. And currently, I'm serving as a sub-inspector in Punjab Police. But what do you know about Pakistan? Tell us something about Pakistan. Yes, sir. Pakistan is a country in um, South Asia and uh, it, it has one of the largest population in the world and it is also a home to uh, five of the largest, uh, highest peaks of the world and uh, it has immense potential if we talk about the people of Pakistan uh, with respect to um, the potential uh, such as we have uh, scientists such as um, uh, and we have immense potential if we talk about the literature and art history of the country since I'm a student of literature that's um, that's why I'm talking about that and uh, other than that um, Pakistan uh, has an immense potential to grow but uh, it is facing different um, challenges with respect to security economy and politics which we are working on right now and uh, we can overcome those Tell challenges. Tell us something about the political structure of Pakistan. Yes, sir. Pakistan is a parliamentary democracy and uh, if we talk about the political structure of Pakistan, it has uh, faced a lot of upheavals since its inception and uh, uh, we uh, are currently facing political instability and that uh, the country has been facing since its inception. So the political structure has been, we can say that it has been changing over time and uh, we have also um, um, uh, put forward three constitutions with respect to that and a landmark amendment, 18th amendment to that particular constitution and uh, that is mostly the political structure of Pakistan. What is your understanding of manifesto or political parties? What they try to say? Um, sir, the manifesto of a political party, it is basically, a, a, we can say it is a road map, map, a plan of action that a party is giving to its electorate. Um, it, is, it, it is the reason why the people should elect a particular party that is they are giving. And as far as the election manifestos of Pakistan's political parties are concerned, they have rolled out their political manifestos and we have seen that they are making grand um, uh, promises to the people. And uh, But uh, there is something lacking in, in those political manifestos and uh, that thing is, uh, I believe, the uh, the policy that they should should be following to, um, to complete those uh, plans that they are giving. The International Court of Justice has given its verdict. Yes, sir. What is the gist of that verdict? What they have said? Uh, sir, the ICJ has uh, said that uh, Israel should immediately stop the genocide that it is conducting against the Palestinians. And uh, it is considered to be a landmark um, uh, judgment from the ICJ as it acknowledges that there is some kind of genocide that is being going on in Palest against the Palestinians, which was um, uh, which which has not been there uh, since the history of the Israel and Palestine's crisis. What are the sanctions yes. for the implementation of verdict given by the ICJ? I believe that um, at, at an international level, uh, there should be sanctions with respect to the export of arms to the Israel um, to stop the genocide. And secondly, there should be a, ch a change in the foreign policy of different countries, especially the West, which is largely supporting the um, Israel's war against the Palestine. And thirdly, um, these sanctions to, uh, should uh, revolve around economic sanctions as well to stop the genocide of Israel against Palestine. Good. Muslim, what is the number of Muslim population in Israel? Uh, inside Israel, um, sir. So in, if we talk about Israel, Muslims are in minority in the state of, of Israel. They are in minority, but yes, still they live there. Sir, I'm not sure if the exact number of the Muslims. What is the Muslim population of Gaza? Gaza, there are four million Muslims. In and Gaza. what is the Muslim population of West Bank? Um, sir, I need to read that up again. Sure, no. You just identify mm -hmm. three major global issues which <coughs> we saw at the turn of this. Uh, New Year from 2023 to 2024. 
we saw major global issue war going on in different parts of the world. So, firstly, there is a war of Israel against the Palestinians. Okay. Secondly, there is the Russia-Ukraine crisis, uh, and uh, thirdly, um, it is the it is the uh, conflict generally in different parts of the world. Uh, different countries are um, there. There, there are political conflicts as well. But I believe there is a, an economic crisis largely that that should also be counted as one of the large, uh, bigger crises at the turn of Thank you. the new year. Where are you posted? Uh, so uh, in police line, sir Goda. But currently, I'm at leave. Have you uh, worked in a police station? No, sir. Sir, I joined in May and then I went on training. Okay. Is what is the police Rosnamcha and how important it is in police working? Uh, sir, police Rosnamcha, it is a record of all the entries that are, um, that uh, that includes all the cases that are registered in a police station in a, in a day. And it is a record that is kept daily by the um, uh, by the head constable that is posted as the muharrar of, of a police station only uh, the cases registered uh, daily no, they sir, are it mentioned includes in all the major activities that are going on yeah, in a police yeah, station right. what are the parts of the police station different parts okay so uh, sir there is the sho office and uh, then there is the muharrar office which is uh, where all the complainants can go first and then there is a waiting room also then there is a, a lockup in a police station then there is a weapon a store uh, it is called uh, um, so i i forgot the term that is used for it then there is a security guard uh, uh, point also where they sit you have forgotten malkhana malkhana yes sir can you tell us about the uh, police hierarchy in a province? What is the structural composition of police hierarchy in yes, a province? Sir. So, so the highest at the police hierarchy would be the IG, IG of the particular province and then under them would be the additional IGs. What measures have been uh, mentioned in the police order 2002? to improve the working of the police in the police order 2002 so uh, sir there uh, there were uh, public safety commissions that were formed in police order 2002 so these are accountability commissions the, and they include the members that are elected by the public as well which which are the members members of the local government such as councillors as well and they are at uh, district level at provincial level and at national level as well are they functional uh, sir currently they are not functional and what else uh, then there uh, there was a police complaint cell also that was formed at different uh, levels uh, against the, the compla complainants can uh, register their complaints against the working of police uh, such as the incidents of police high handedness that we uh, can uh, uh, see at our uh, daily life what do you mean by women empowerment so women empowerment means that women should be given equal opportunities in political economic and social fields in all sphere of life and they should not be discriminated just because they are uh, just because of their gender so so far uh, what uh, steps have been taken by the government to to uh, Im improve the standard of women empowerment in our country so, uh, if we talk about the pol uh, in the political sphere, there has been introduction of a political quota. Uh, so there should be no less than five uh, percent of the candidates uh, that a party uh, should have uh, um, uh, women candidates. And then there has been increased um, uh, representation of women in the national assembly as well as in the parliament. If we talk about the economic steps, the different economic uh, uh, welfare schemes uh, direct di directing the women, they have been. Um, such as the Benazir Income Support Program, and uh, these empower women economically and financially. And uh, uh, then there has there have been reforms uh, as far as the social sphere is concerned. There has been um, lawmaking regarding the family laws as well as inheritance laws. So these are some of the um, uh, steps that have been taken by the government. Thank you. Welcome to CSP's Academy for CSS PMS preparation. 
सी एस एस पी एम एस तहरीरी इम्तहान के तमाम मजामी की ऑनलाइन और ऑन कैंपस तैयारी के साथ साथ सब्जेक्ट सिलेक्शन असाइनमेंट चेकिंग क्लास टेस्ट मॉक एग्जाम इंडिविजुअल टीचर डिस्कशन और फीडबैक सेशन का इनका किया जाएगा इसके अलावा एफ पी एस सी की तजवीज करदा बुक्स ऐसी बने मैरी नोट और सी एस पी पब्लिशर की बेहतरीन बुक्स मुहैया की जाएंगी कलेक्शन so talking about akhand bharat and hindutva yes ma'am uh, the current assassinations in canada uk usa yes ma'am and even pakistan yes ma'am foreign office issued a statement yesterday did you go through that yes ma'am i did can you tell us about it uh, so ma'am uh, there have recently uh, we have seen a surge in the um, uh, in the assassinations of different uh, political leaders in india who are uh, talking about their uh, different uh, nationalist um, uh, uh, their um, plans uh, such as the um, uh, sikh leaders largely who talk about the khalistan movement so they have been assassinated by the um, agents of um, uh, the raw uh, that is the indian intelligence agency so different countries have uh, criticized them as it is not uh, it is not in the jurisdiction of their uh, to uh, assassinate in 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 foreign lands so firstly it is the um, uh, it is the interference in the sovereignty of 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 the other country in whose land it is being committed uh, secondly we also see that um, the government is largely um, aiming at curbing the opposition uh, which is against the spirit of democracy and india is um, so called the largest democracy of the world as it claims itself to be so that is uh, what we see here and uh, thirdly we also see that uh, india is largely not only opposing the uh, hindu uh, the muslims and other minorities but also the hindus as well who are uh, against their um, uh, their uh, rhetoric largely which is the one uh, one nation one religion one language hindi hindu and hindustan so um, we see that it is uh, dangerous for democracy in india as well as it is also dangerous for other countries so we need to take uh, efforts we need to take steps at international level with respect to our foreign policy and there should be a coordination at international level among canada usa and pakistan in whose land these uh, crimes are being committed thank you so much dr sir thank you ma'am that all the name uh my i'll ask question from indo pak history for the for so first and then i'll ask question from political science and other subjects okay uh what do you know about the proclamation act when it happened and what significant change it made sir i'm not aware of proclamation act well uh, they happened an incident in 1857 yes sir different people coined this incident with the different names what do you believe was it a war of independence or it's a rebellion or it's a revolt or mutiny uh, sir we can call it both we can call it war of independence and we can also call it a rebellion if we call it a Your rebellion yes sir yes sir i my point of view is that it was both because uh, we substantiate your view. yes sir if we analyze the events that happened in the war of 1857 we see that um, if we call it a war of independence we see that the the people who were um, uh, fighting that war they were largely fighting it for their independence from the foreign uh, occupants but if we call it a rebellion we will call it that because it was not a unified war by all the segments of society it was only a rebellion by a handful of soldiers who were revolting against their own um, immediate officers it was not uh, they were not even supported by their own uh, peers their own uh, the people of Good. their own Fine. land uh, in when 1885 when indian national congress established yes, sir sayed ahmed khan he uh, asked muslim not to join indian national congress yes. for two important reasons yes, 
Yes, sir. Can you name those two important uh, reasons? Yes, sir. So, firstly, he said that because um, he did not want Muslims to be dominated by the Hindus in that party uh, because he said that it is largely a Hindu, a party made for Hindu interest although it claims to be a national party but it is not and secondly he said that they should be focusing on other important uh, important political reasons in uh, 1928 when Simon Commission yes, came to subcontinent yes, sir. Uh, there was only political party who did welcome Simon Commission can you name that political so party? That party would be uh, the All India Muslim League. No. It was not. Yes. We read uh, political science. Uh, you know that Plato, uh, Plato would do not like democracy. Yes. What was specific reason? So the specific reason he said that it is a it is a rule it is a mob rule. The people are not uh, educated. They should not be given the right to uh, vote, the right to rule, the right to choose. Uh, so they are not uh, prepared for that. You know that before Plato, Athens yes, sir. was at the peak under the Solon's constitution that was totally a democracy. Yes, sir. So v Plato was on the other hand, he has on yes, other sir. opinion. Yes, sir. But the kind of democracy that was in Athens, it also bifurcated between slaves and free people and only free people were allowed the right what to What was vote. Plato's opinion about the role of women in society? Yes, sir. So Plato said that women should be given equal ro role as women can also become the philosopher king and they should be um, they should be uh, given right yes sir this this was the view of Plato yes sir he said that if you uh, if you if um, uh, if there is a person who does not train both of his arms how can they uh, fight Hobbes very famous book name the book the Leviathan Leviathan you read British history yes sir. Uh, King Charles I, he belongs to which uh, which part of United Kingdom? Um, sir, I'm not. Uh, do you think uh, uh, any uh, implication of glorious revolution is the political system of subcontinent? Um, yes. So, uh, sir, uh, the glorious revolution was it. Uh, we can say that it was the basis of democracy in UK. So, yes. if uh, it it would directly have an effect on the democracy in India as well, because uh, uh, the Britishers they started to believe that if we have democracy, we will be satisfying the people, and that's how we can rule on okay. them for My last question is about regulating Act seventy seventy three. What do you know about that? Uh, sir, I'm I'm not aware. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's conclude it. Let's conclude the formal intro. Let's have an informal discussion. You can ask questions if you like. Yes. And we will give you our feedback. Okay? Yes, sir. You had a, I think it is a very good interview with you. There are certain areas where you need to focus now. Yes, sir. Okay? You are fully charged with the situation. You are in a good state of preparedness. Come and tell Sir, I'll be date me. Chalo, you are lucky you don't have the date. To, you will get some time to prepare yourself more. Yes, sir. One thing that your case is, I think that you have heard the name Leap Frog. Your frog leap. Yes, sir. If you are crazy, you are a star. So, you see, that is the case. Now, yes. your uh, last interview, hai na? if you are prepared, it is going to make a difference in your life. Yes, sir. Otherwise, this is a little bit of an introduction short. Karo. E, apna, theek karo. Tumhara introduction jo hai na, is a lousy sa interview. Yes, sir. You must develop a story of struggle in your interview. Yes, you see, even uh, by this job which you are holding as a sub inspector, is it a competitive job? You must have joined through Public Service Commission. So, you have to say that I am a woman, I am a family background. So, briefly, this is my education, competitive exam through Punjab Public Service Commission, and I sub inspector select. Ke looking for job, struggling for job, exam de rahi hu, to pehle exam mein select ho gaya aur maine join kar liya, maine dusra exam de iske liye. You see, you try to build up a story of struggle, achievement, accomplishment, jo bhi aapki hai. 
ठीक है यू हैड ए नाइस पर्सनैलिटी कम्युनिकेशन स्किल बहुत अच्छे हैं आपके कोई इशू नहीं है नॉलेज लेवल इज अ रीजनेबली गुड बट कॉन्स्टेंट कॉन्फिडेंस है इंटेलिजेंट हो सिटिंग पोस्टर ठीक है वॉइस का इम्पैक्ट ठीक आ रहा है अब आपने एक तो इंट्रोडक्शन जाके लिखना है अपना वन पेजर अपने बारे में दस पेज लिखोगे तो उसमें एक्सट्रैक्ट करो वन पेजर दैट शुड बी ऑब्जेक्टिव नॉट सब्जेक्टिव फैक्ट्स फैक्ट्स पे ऑब्जेक्टिविटी हो अप्रूव कर सके जी मैं दिस इज माई अचीवमेंट दिस इज माई बुक दिस इज माई डिग्री दिस इज माई सोशल वर्क समथिंग लाइक दैट ठीक है स्टेट ऑफ प्रिपेयर में रहो छुट्टी लेके अभी वो नहीं जाना छुट्टी लो और कीप एन स्ट्रगलिंग अखबार आपने रोजाना तीन महीने का उठाओ उनको रिव्यू करो उनमें से मेजर चीजें होती हैं इंटरनेशनल न्यूज हैं नेशनल न्यूज हैं इकोनॉमिक इश्यूज हैं सोशल इश्यूज हैं इनको हाईलाइट करके समझो एक नोटबुक बनाओ समथिंग लाइक दिस ये एक पेज है ना एक पेज के ऊपर हेडिंग लिखो इकोनॉमिक चैलेंजेस ऑफ पाकिस्तान सोशल इशूज ऑफ पाकिस्तान ठीक है ना तो नीचे वन टू थ्री फोर पॉइंट लिखो जिस तरह पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन होती है और कम से कम सौ टॉपिक लेटेस्ट अपडेट करो तो तुम्हारे पास है यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन तो उनको रोज बैठ कर रिहर्सल करो इंटरव्यू एज ए कॉन्वर्सेशन इंस्टेंटली जवाब देना पड़ता है इन रिटर्न एग्जामिनेशन यू हैव बीन थाटफुल आपका एक थाट प्रोसेस था आपने उसको रिप्रोड्यूस किया ऑन योर बुक्स ऑन योर आंसर शीट हेयर यू हैव टू इंस्टेंटली रिप्लाई तुम एक दो चीज़ों को हिट करो ठीक है ना तो माशा यू आर गुड यू कैन मेक इट पंजाब में कंपटीशन इज वेरी टफ बट यू हैव गॉट द पोटेंशियल टू कम्पीट ठीक है आप सर आप सब इंस्पेक्टर हैं पुलिस के बारे में तो आप मुकम्मल होना चाहिए नॉलेज होना चाहिए बाकी आप में है आप में पोटेंशियल है आप जो है अच्छे मार्क्स ले सकती हैं Um, Ebony, you have a very good personality. You have a good logical thinking. Ah, uh, ye this paper is your advantage or your disadvantage. If you know everything on it, you are successful. Because mm-hmm. question is this: will come. And if you can't give an answer, then you have unnecessarily put yourself at a disadvantage. So I would recommend hobbies को कम करो अब देखो तुमने कहा वॉचिंग मूवीज मूवीज इज सच अ वास्ट फील्ड जिसकी कोई हद नहीं पीपल कैन आस्क यू हिस्ट्री ऑफ मूवी वॉकी टॉकी मूवीज कब शुरू हुई ब्लैक एंड वाइट क्या था जो वो साइलेंट मूवीज होती थी कब शुरू हुई साउथ एशिया में वॉकी टॉकी कब आई कलर स्क्रीन कब आया विच वॉज द फर्स्ट फिल्म ऑन कलर स्क्रीन हॉलीवुड uh, फिल्म्स के बारे में लॉलीवुड के बॉलीवुड के फ्रेंच के ब्रिटिश के इतनी इंडस्ट्री है वर्ल्ड फेस्टिवल्स कहाँ पे होते हैं मूवी के क्या उनके अवार्ड्स होते हैं हु वॉज द लेटेस्ट ऑस्कर अवार्ड विनर ऑस्कर में क्या ट्रेंड्स हो रही है इतनी भरमार होगी यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू डील विद इट सो इफ़ यू लिमिट योर सेल्फ जिसपे फिर आप फोकस कर सकें तो इट विल गिव यू एन एडवांटेज बोलिंग बोलिंग की चैम्पियनशिप किस तरह होती है हु आर द चैम्पियंस ऑन बोलिंग पाकिस्तान में बोलिंग का क्या स्टेटस है बोलिंग का आपकी फिजिकल उस पर क्या इफेक्ट होता है यू नो ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन कैन बी आर सेम गोज फॉर द बुक्स जो बुक्स लिखी हैं उनको रिवाइज करो और क्रिटिकली एनालाइज करो बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन विल बी अ क्रिटिकल एनालिसिस ऑफ वट यू हैव रेड ठीक है इनडिसाइसिव एंड ओवर स्टिम्यूलेशन आर बोथ काइंड ऑफ नॉट वेरी गुड वीकनेस टू राइट बिकॉज इफ यू आर इन अ डिसीजन मेकिंग इन यूर इनडिसाइसिव दैन यू आर अ प्रॉब्लम सो आई वुड रिकमेंड के राइट समथिंग एल्स यू नो वुड यू मीन बाई ओवर स्टिम्यूलेशन डू यू टेक ड्रग्स सो वॉट आर यू राइटिंग Do you have lot of dopamine going on? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh, weaknesses को सोच के लिखो क्योंकि उन पर अगर सवाल आए इट कैन पुट यू इन अ स्पॉट अदरवाइज यू आर वेरी गुड एंड आई एम कॉन्फिडेंट यू बी सक्सेसफुल 
थैंक यू डॉक्टर साहब हाँ थैंक यू मैम एल अमल गनी आपकी आपकी प्रोफेशन बहुत अच्छी है यू आंसर वेरी वेल आई विल से कि आप थोड़ा सा फोकस थे क्योंकि आपने ब्रिटिश हिस्ट्री पढ़ी है और उनका बहुत ज़्यादा इन्फ्लुएंस है ब्रिटेन भी उनकी कॉलोनी कैनेडा भी उनकी कॉलोनी ऑस्ट्रेलिया भी उनकी कॉलोनी और हम भी उनकी कॉलोनी तो वट सिग्निफिकेंट चेंज इज द ब्रॉड तो वो जो टाइम स्पेन है ना जो उन जो आपकी हिस्ट्री का स्टार्ट होता है तो वहाँ पर आप इंटरव्यू पैनल में आपसे बहुत चीज़ें पूछेंगे वो उसका वो जो चीज़ें लेकर आए हैं वो जो चेंजेस लेकर आए हैं थ्रू डिफरेंट रेगुलेटिंग एक्ट के तहत चार्टर एक्ट के तहत एंड द इंट्रोड्यूस रिप्रेजेंटेटिव डेमोक्रेसी है इन सब कॉन्टिनेंट क्योंकि उनके आने से पहले यहाँ पर क्या था यहाँ पर एब्सोल्यूट मोनार्की थी एंड द इंट्रोड्यूस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनलिज्म ठीक है रूल ऑफ लॉ क्या है गुड गवर्नेंस क्या है हाउ इंट्रोड्यूस ऑल दीज थिंग्स जबकि यहाँ के लोग जो इन चीज़ों के लिए तैयार नहीं थे and they have a resistance they face resistance stiff resistance from the people of subcontinent to so, in sab cheezon ko chote chote se jaise proclamation act hai regulating act hai charter act 1833 hai inko reading kare thoda sa aur apne mind mein ek unka answer bana le plato jo tha na i think so ke he wo, usne jo women's ko role diya tha na wo domestic role diya tha usne usse zyada role nahi tha apne gender studies bhi padhi sir isi hawale se usko study kar lijiye athens mein क्या प्लेटो इन पोलिटिकल थाट ऑफ प्लेटो वट रोल गिवन टू द वुमेंस ठीक है तो वो फिलासफर किंग की बात जो करता है ना फिलासफर क्वीन की बात नहीं की उसने आप इसको फर्दर देख लीजिएगा ठीक है और छोटे क्वेश्चन को जो है ना आपने बहुत अच्छा आंसर किया इन्हीं जिन्हीं लाइन क्योंकि आप फ्रेश हैं फ्रेश इससे पहले आपने इसके पेपर दिए हैं आपके आंसर बहुत अच्छे थे और इनको थोड़ा सा और जैसे क्राउचिंग पोजिशन होती है ना जब क्राउचिंग टाइगर पोजिशन यू नो अबाउट दैट बिफोर गोइंग अटैक तो वो अपने आप को इस पोजिशन में लेकर आता था कि वो फाइनल लीप लेता है कि जैसे सर ने बोल सकते फ्रॉक लीप सर आपने बोला उस पोजिशन में है आप तो आप इन चीज़ों को एक मत में रिवाइज करें आप अच्छा स्कोर कर सकती हैं इंटरव्यू में ठीक है तो यू आर वेरी गुड तुम जाओ तैयारी करो यू हैव गॉट द पोटेंशियल जो मैडम ने कहा है अपने ड्रेस कोड को जब फॉलो करो और अखबार पढ़ो बस जाओ